From the Sydney Morning Herald, in their digital life section, Twitter adds a mute button, but you shouldn't need to use it. You can mute your television, you can mute Gmail threads, and now you can mute Twitter accounts if you don't want to see their activity. These three points define a spectrum of muting that moves from logical to bizarre. Muting your TV speakers, YouTube videos, and so on makes sense. Sometimes you need to kill the sound or you're you're going to watch some silent TV while you talk. That is, listen to your grandfather on the phone. With email, you wouldn't normally want to take yourself out of messages that presumably involve you, but there are cases where muting can be useful. For example, if you're part of a planning thread for a camping trip that you can't attend, you don't really need to have the back and forth about who's bringing marshmallows. However, if you don't want to read their tweets, don't follow them. With Twitter, the case for muting falls apart. The whole point of Twitter is that you follow people whose tweets you want to read. If you don't want to read their tweets, don't follow them. And that's kind of the crux of the article here. It's a pretty good read. Check it out.